when you would, be, if you were a young kid and you went to Nana's house, that was the place where you could just lay back. It was the the soft pillow to fall on. It was Nana's sitting in Nana's lap and having Nana just tell you you're, you're the world to her. is a community of elders living with dementia. Founder Jackie Buru, a Duke graduate, converted a house in Southeast Raleigh to help care for the elders living with dementia. Dementia is the loss of mental functions such as thinking, memory, and reasoning that is severe enough to interfere with a person's daily functioning. To whom much is given, much is required. Then you shake it Your assignment, Kendallin, is to spread cheer to the elders with a pleasing personality. So now Kendallin joined us for lunch today, and uh, we're so glad to have you. <laughs> yeah, she's doing such a good job. Say thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, <laughs> did you hear her say thank you? Yes. That's good, isn't it? Did you? Uh huh, I heard her too. Good. Wasn't that nice? Nice. Okay. Flossy, you heard Dementia is considered a late life disease because it tends to develop mostly in elderly people. About 5% to 8% of all people over the age of 65 have some form of dementia. It's kind of a micro community because we have a house with six nanas and all of the nanas we converted the word to divas so they're nanas divas and they just um, they become co-partners with each other because they have memory loss and they share that uh, loss they they compensate for it by having partners in the midst Hi, hey, Miss Miss Flossy is uh, natural over here. Look at her. <laughs> Symptoms can also include changes in personality, mood, and behavior. Kendallin, let Ms. Boo tell you more about how she started Nana's Touch. The work was actually inspired by Nana, my mother, and God. And it was at a crisis in my life. And I didn't know what was going to happen next. And um, my mom got sick and she had congestive heart failure and uh, dementia. And they said um, she couldn't no longer live by herself. So we thought about what to do with her and we decided that um, since I had three brothers and I was the only daughter that I would be the one that would keep her. And so we brought her from Maryland to Baltimore, I mean from, from Baltimore, Maryland to North Carolina and brought her down here and she came, she didn't come willingly, she came to say well I'm just going to stay for a couple months but I'm not staying here in the south. And as it turned out, she stayed until she died. And during that time, she was telling me, you need to do this. And I'd say, what, Nana? And she'd say, you need to keep people like this. Asia has been called a silent epidemic among African Americans. <laughs> suffer from dementia. An estimated 7 million to 10 million Americans will have severe dementia by the year 2040. From the elders, Kendallin, you will absorb the truth of life. And from you, the elders will absorb life. 
Have fun on your assignment with Nana's touch. Kimberly. Here, get it. And um, sometimes when Nana's get older, they get sicker, they're still just as wise. And they can still tell you that story, that you're a good person.